It is the first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Who will experience liftoff in the opener? All the action is next, live on EA TV. Hello and welcome. The floodlights are shining down here at the 80,000 capacity Lusail Stadium just to the north of Doha. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. So we can check on the starting lineup. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Neymar. And the contest begins. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Well, talking about Brazil, really the ultimate World Cup team. And if you look at the group stage this time around, they have Switzerland and Serbia in their group, as they did. Oh, could be! Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. Who can they pick out? Well, he failed to get it away properly. Three of foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Alexandro, a really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. There to win it back. Fred. Alexandro now. Vinicius Junior. Good strength to keep the ball. Casemiro. Wonderful chance! Brilliantly blocked. They couldn't maintain possession.
Toko Ekambi. Danilo. Here's Marquinhos. Ongisa. Now potential danger. And putting his body on the line. Must be. Still could be dangerous. And a time for calm on the ball. Danilo. On to Paqueta. Well read to put an end to that attack. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Casemiro. Here is Fred. But after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Paqueta, can he give them the lead? Just couldn't get it through. A chance now with the corner. for the short one Collins Fay well he's lost it Abubakar Well, Brazil have bossed the possession, as you can see. But it's been a frustrating performance from them so far. They just haven't had enough guile in the final third. It's all been a bit too predictable, which has to change if they want to win this one. Could be a chance to break here. An important interception. Fred. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. The first half here comes to an end. Well, here's the truth of the matter. Struggles galore for Neymar. And that's not something we say all that often, Stuart. Well, as the touch match shows us, he hasn't posed much of a threat so far. And that's down to a couple of things. Yes, the service hasn't been great, but his movement hasn't been good enough today. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. He could pick out a teammate. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Well, able to close down the short. Who can he pick out? Well, it still could be dangerous. Well, putting it wide from there. A pity, really. <laughs> 
Well, after that mishap, the keeper can now exhale. Well, the hand goes up apologetically. That was a real lapse in concentration there. Neymar. Here's Rafinha. And Neymar must take the lead here. And they have, you've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And Neymar hits it with such confidence, he strikes it so cleanly. It's a great goal. And back underway, 1-0 it is. And that'll be offside. And time for the change now. Supermoting. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Danilo. Well, that's a good Brazil move in the making. And he might be through here. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Have a short corner here. Casimiro. Superb block. It's Neymar. With that, they've thwarted the opportunity. They're not giving their opponents any time to breathe. Lucas Paqueta. Return to Paqueta. Well, a chance for Brazil to extend their advantage from this corner. And a substitution in the offing. Played over. And a good take under duress there. Well, they couldn't keep it. Good movement. Well, Brazil have been in complete control over the last 15 minutes. And you sense another goal is coming. They are really looking to finish it off now. Wasteful again in possession. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Paqueta. Well, that is how to break up a counter-attack. Already closing him down here. Ten minutes left for play. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Paqueta. Now Eder Militao. There's a slide rule pass. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Yeah. 
So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Choupo-Moting. Toko Ekambi. The referee has given a corner. Substitution time as is here. And there's the delivery. Oh, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. Paqueta. Eder Militao. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Shupomoting. Now oh, showing excellent vision. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Corner kick played in. And the referee blows for full time. Most acceptable for all Brazilian fans. A victory here, Stuart. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area. And they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him.